In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth to Galilee, to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and to who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she, and she gave And she, and she gave birth, oh, that's why. And she gave birth to her first, to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and, and laid him down in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they heard and seen, as it had been told them. The story doesn't end there, though, because in the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise magi from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observe his star at its rising, and we have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired with of them where the Messiah was to be born, and they told them. In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. Then Herod secretly called for the wise magi and learned from them that the exact time of the star had appeared. Then he sent, to them, sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them was the star that they had, been, they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were, oh, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And have being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. May this story and the message of God's incredible and unending love for the whole world stay with us throughout the year. May it inspire us to greater love. May it bring us hope. May it continue to light our way and guide our path. Amen. Amen.